Lovely. These are good. Those are These are good too. They're just lower pitched. Oh yeah. This is this should be a little lower. This one is really good. Lower than this one, but it's still too high for as low as I like it. Right. It's not bad. If you picked either one of these, you're good. The only good thing about it being high is these are not replaceable. Right. So as they wear, they're going to get lower automatically. And those are yours. And these are mine. And you yeah. have four pair of them. And I have four pair. I have three at <laughs> home. And a couple of them, maybe one or two pair. They're kind of dead, but if one goes low, the other one's going as low with it. Mm -hmm. So they're still in balance. They're just not as high pitched as they used to be. Okay. But they're in balance to each other. And what I did, I put a straight music sticker inside. Right. It helps to muffle it. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I put a Band-Aid in there, too. What does a Band-Aid do? Helps to muffle it. Muffle it. Even in a little bit more. Oh, I like that low. Now, these drums right here, the guy that's trying to sell these, he tuned them perfectly to oh, each other. Really? <laughs> and they don't break. And they don't break. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. They're like notes. Wow. That is perfect. Okay. How do you, you tune know? them? Well, some they have uh, they actually have tunes that you can tune them to notes. And I'm not sure which one is which, but whoever did this knew what they were doing. Wow. Because it's just like playing notes on a scale. How much is the guy selling this trio for? The drums, the stand, and the bongos, I think they're like a thousand dollars. Yeah. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And they're in really good shape and they're already tuned. They're lovely. first one again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pick one too. And I'll do the other one again. Okay. The one we just did was number one. This is number two. This is number two. I like number one. You do? Okay. Which do you like? I there? like number two. I'm going to tell Ooh. you what. This one, that is great. Is it? Because it has a pop sound. Let's see. And this one doesn't... And that number one didn't have a pop sound. It doesn't have as much pop as this one. This one, this is great. If I was looking for another set of bongos, I would take this one off of this set oh. and match it with another one. This isn't bad, it's just lower. I like to start out with a higher pop because it cuts through if you're trying, like I use these with a classical group. I play with a a classical group and we've been to the White House and I've mm -hmm. taken these to the White House and played these. <laughs> Your kids, Yes, because they, they 
they're lightweight, uh -huh. and in a classical group, we're not amplified, so they work perfect. Wow. So a higher pitch one is going to kind of resonate and play out a little bit better. My than goodness. The and this is not bad. This is not bad. Just that this one is a little bit too high to be the low one. Mm -hmm. And this is this one for itself, in and of itself, it's good. But this one's better. And this isn't that bad, but it's not as low as I'd like it to be in comparison to this one. Wow. But this, this is, that's great. Oh my goodness. That is great. Yeah, that is great. So what I might do, You seem undecided about the big one. Yeah, I am. The small one is great. The big one I'd probably change out because you can just take them apart. And Aww. I've done that with these and the other pair that I get, I go through them. And the one that I like the best, if this happens to be the pair, fine. If not, I'll just piece them together. Uh -huh. And it's really neat because you can take this apart, put it inside. Put it in your luggage. Oh my goodness. Portable, very carry. You know, if you go out in the woods and you're camping and you just want to have a musical jam session, these are very compact and portable. Well, let's have that one. Good. <laughs> 